हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर कंप्लीट बिगनर गाइड ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप आवर एनवायरनमेंट फॉर सी प्रोग्रामिंग बट बिफोर डाइविंग टू द मेन स्टेप इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू हैव अ क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट इज एनवायरनमेंट एंड व्हाई इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सेट अप योर एनवायरनमेंट बिफोर यू स्टार्ट योर कोडिंग ओके लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल टू क्लियर दैट कॉन्सेप्ट लेट से यू हैव टू एक्वेरियम वन इज फील्ड विथ सॉल्ट वाटर एंड एन अदर इज फील्ड विथ स्वीट वाटर and you always put the right fish into the right water so there is no problem one day your friend come and he don't know about the difference between these two aquarium and he put the sweet water fish into the salt water and the salt water fish into the sweet water and after some time both of the fish died now let's see why this happened as you know that there are two type of fish and they both need their own environment sweet water fish cannot live in the salt water and salt water fish cannot live in sweet water so they need their own environment to live so now is that environment is very important you have to know the right environment for the right thing otherwise it's not going to work same in programming although there is a lot of programming language and they all used to program a computer but they need their own environment so you have to set up your working environment before you start your programming okay now we got the basic idea about what is environment and why it's very important Let's start setting up your C programming environment. And in this video, I am going to show you the environment setup for PC, mobile devices, and cross-platform browsers. Okay, let's start with PC. To set up your environment, you have to understand the flow of your program execution from your source code to the execution, so that you can understand what is needed to set up your environment. Okay, the first step you do in program that you write your code, right? So you need a code editor first. there is lot of code editor you can find on internet and some of the popular code editor is vs code sublime text atom i personally like vs code so in this whole course i am going to use vs code but you can use whatever you want to use okay after writing your code the next step is to convert your code into machine language so that computer can also understand your program and execute it we all know that computer only understand binaries that means 0 and 1 and whatever you write in your code editor that is pure english and computer does not know what it means so we need something that can convert our high level language that means our written code into binaries or we call it machine language so this task is done by a compiler so we need a compiler second so after code editor we need a compiler to compile our code also there is lot of compiler on internet and some of the mostly used compiler for c programming is gcc tcc oracle c compiler etc In this whole course, we are going to use TCC. That's because it's lightweight and able to complete all of our need. Okay, so after compiling your code, the last step is execute your program, and that's it. Okay, that's lot of theoretical part, and let's do some practical thing, right? Now let's set up our environment for PC. There is mainly two way to set up our environment for PC. One is the classical way, and another is using an IDE. In the classical way. the code editor and the compiler is separated from each other and in ide all the things you need to run your program is integrated in one software in this whole course i am going to use the classical way that's because it's good for practice but i am also going to show you both way to set up your environment for your pc okay let's start with the classical way as you already know that the first thing we need is the code editor I am going to use VS Code, and to use VS Code, just download it from their official site. You can find the download link of VS Code as well as some other code editor in the description, and you can download it from there. After downloading, install it on your PC. The installation process is very simple. Just follow the instruction on the installation page. After installing your code editor, now we need a compiler to convert our code into a machine language. So we are going to download the TCC compiler, in short TCC. In their official site, go to the download section and download the latest version for your PC. As my computer is 64 bit of Windows, so I am going to download the zip file of 64 bit Windows. If you are using some another configuration, then download that which is suitable for you. Now open the folder where you have the download files and extract it. Here you will get a folder called TCC, and this folder contains all of your compiler file. As we are going to use this compiler throughout our whole course. so that i am going to copy it in my c drive now if you open the command prompt here and run this command then you can see the version of the tcc that means it's working but if you just type tcc minus v 
then here we got an error that the TCC command is not recognized and if you run the previous command in any other directory then it's also not going to work but we need this TCC command to available in our whole system to do this we need to add this compiler path in our system environment variables for that copy the path from here and now go to the properties of your PC then go to the advanced system setting open the environment variables here we have to add our compiler path to our path variable select the path variable and click on edit now click on new to add a new path and paste the compiler path here and click ok to save the changes now make sure to restart your command prompt after you've done any changes in your environment variables otherwise you are going to see the same error again and again so restart your command prompt and type the previous command again now you can see that it's working so now our compiler is ready to use okay it's time to run a program in our new setup open your code editor and create a new file while saving your file make sure you save it with .c extension because we are going to write code in C programming language so for C programming language the extension is .c here we get a plugin suggestion from VS code for C or C++ language and I am going to install it because it can help us to write our code with auto completion and some other things if this suggestion does not appear to your PC then go to the extension tab and search for C or C++ you will get a plugin developed by Microsoft and just install it ok now let's write some code and run it okay here we got an error don't worry about getting error in programming because fixing error is a part of programming and it can help you to learn more and make you a better programmer okay let's fix it to fix any error first you have to know why you are getting this error sometime you can get the cause from the editor or from the compiler okay now hovering over the error we can see that it's saying that it's detected an include error and stduio.h is not found so now we have to update the include path of this code editor with a appropriate path here you can also see the little bug here click on it and from here you can edit the include path to do this first you have to open the folder let's open it and uh, now if we again click on the edit include path option it takes us to the c or c++ configuration here just change the include path with our compiler path and the and the double star means that it will search recursively okay now go to your code file and write some code now let's run it to run this open a terminal here i am going to use the built-in terminal of vs code to open the inbuilt terminal you can click on the terminal or just press ctrl plus j to run your program with the help of tcc type tcc minus run and your program name and if your program is correct you will get the output here okay this is the classical way of environment setup for pc now we are going to see how you can use an ide to run our program for c programming i personally like code blocks and to use code blocks just download it from their official site and install it during installation choose your compiler you can see here that code blocks has detected tnc compiler that's because we had already installed it so i am going to set up this compiler as my default compiler and then complete the installation process okay now let's run a program here first write a program to run any program here you have to first build it and then you have to run it at the top you can see there is three button and first button is for build your program the second button is for run and the third button is for build and run okay to run your program i am going to click the build and run this will build our program and then it will run the program that means this button do two tasks first it build the program and then it run the program here you have to note one thing that if you make changes in your program and click on run then it will run the last build program so after making any changes in your program first build it then run it a common problem that everyone face at the beginning that they forgot to close the running program so that they get all these buttons in gray color and it's not clickable so if any time you face this problem then find the running program and close it and it will solve the problem there is also some another common problem that every new programmer face when they start programming i had made a video on this topic and i strongly recommend you to watch that video if you are new in programming okay now our pc setup is complete now let's see the mobile setup 
Sometimes I also use my mobile to practice coding when my PC is not accessible by me. So it's good to know the mobile setup as well. For mobile, I especially like Decoder because it provides a lot of functionality and it's also free. And another app called C4 Droid. It provides a lot of functionality, but it's paid. One important thing about C4 Droid that you can convert your C programs into APK with the help of this app. Okay, to download Decoder, open your Play Store and search for Decoder and you will get this app. Install it. After installation is complete, open the app and log in. Here, to write your code, click on Start Coding, then choose your coding language and write some code. After writing your code, click on this blue icon and run your code. To download C4 Droid, go to Play Store and search for it. You will get this app and if you want, then you can download it and use it, but this is paid. Okay, now let's see some cross-platform services which you can use to run your C program through browser. Personally, I like two services, one is Decoder and another is CodeSim. To use Decoder, go to their site, then log in. Or if you don't have an account, then just sign up and then log in. Now click on Start Coding to write your code, then write the file name and choose the programming language. Now write any C program here. After writing your code, to run your program, click on Run. And if your program is correct, you will get the output here. I personally use this service when I have to use the lab PC or someone else's PC to code. I just open the browser and code here. Believe me, it can help a lot in that type of situation. Another service I also like is the CodeSafe. To use CodeSafe, go to their site and open the code editor. Now choose your programming language from here and then write your code. To run your code here, click on run and at the bottom, you will get the output if your program is correct. Otherwise, you will get an error message. So this is some way of environment setup for C programming. In our next video, we are going to write our first program and then we will discuss about the structure of a C program. Okay, then see you in our next video and until then, keep messing up with your PC. Goodbye and take care.